listen to it. I, I won't be surprised if that's actually overflowing. I think I forgot to empty the condenser out. So what happens when you leave the condenser? in a way. How has it just not given up and flashed at the condenser light? You can hear it gurgling away. All the pump's doing is now completely just... I've done this by accident by the way, I don't think I've done this on purpose. I've, I was meant to empty it out after the towel load and I've just stuck the sheets in and, and I've just passed out. <laughs> anyway, my that has never flashed up. Ever. what the condenser does, just to let you know, is that it goes to the bottom, condenses, floods to the ground into a tray, then there's a pump that then pumps it up. But what it's actually doing is pumping it up, going into the spilling over the tank over the side, then going down the little hole to the back which goes then back down into the bottom, into the tank. So all it permanently does is just basically keeps filling up I am so sure that the condenser will take the light will not come on, I'm going to pause it. And we'll now see how much water is in the bottom. There we are. So there's a fair bit of water in the bottom. And in the top, that's full. In fact, let me just show you how it really goes on. I'm going to take this tank out. is now absolutely full to the brim. Right, give us one minute. That can me actually. Can't 
Can you see that at the back? At the top is, you can sort of see all the water that's gone everywhere. Check this out again. It thinks that bottom bit's foot there you are. It'll start again in a minute, there we are. It does it intermittently a little bit when it's uh, full. Although, truth be told, what really happens is. What was that? But someone asked me once like, to let it fill up completely. There we are, look at that. That needs cleaning that condenser. I'll do that. I've been done for three months or so. Now, the condenser light's supposed to come on, but like many of these things, these sensors just don't work. It doesn't really matter though. Um, there's water at the back though. Um, luckily. So that's how your condenser dryer works. It takes the water from here, right? It, cond it goes through the condenser here, it condenses down, it falls down into this bit underneath here, right? And then a switch at the back sensors and switches the pump on, which then pumps the water from the bottom to the top. Now, a common cause. Um, is that people will often sell their dryer broken with a broken pump because water is not going into the tank because the pump at the back's broken and it's it starts coming out all over the floor here because the tank just thinks it's empty and that thinks it's empty and really it's just so yeah, that's how you condense the dryer works. Actually asked me to, you know, do it to the point where the condenser light comes on, uh, the, fuel, the full tank light comes on, but it just doesn't. Sorry, that doesn't happen. But what I have heard showing you is how it basically works. Nice. Right, I'm going now. <laughs> 